Hello everyone, I'm sitting here with Kathy Wakili, one of the Housewives of New Jersey. We're going to be cooking today an appetizer, entree, and one of Kathy's favorite desserts. And I would like for her to explain what those three courses are. Um, so I have a bruschetta. And I, I first um, put a thin layer of uh, like a quince jelly, a jam. And then I, um, I have some Taleggio cheese. And it's What's a, the texture Taleggio of it? is a, a soft, semi-soft cheese. It's kind of like a brie, but it's a little nuttier. Uh, it's an Italian cheese. And um, it's just smooth, and it's, it gives a different texture and, and bite. Okay, so then great. I put that, like a slice of that over it. Mm -hmm. And then a piece of pear, fresh pear. Uh huh. And then a little bit of arugula and a little prosciutto over the top. And it's a nice thing that you can make a little bit of ahead of time too. If you have guests or company, you know, people coming over, you could get that out. And as soon as they walk in the door, it seems like, oh, what's this? Yeah. And when you're hungry, you'll try something new. That's very true. You know? I can attest to that. And when you're not as hungry, you're like, yeah, no, I'll wait for something else. <laughs> I notice that with my kids sure. because I could get them to try something new, especially my son, if he's starving. And he'll be like, oh, that's really good. You know, the first thing that you put in your mouth is always like, oh, this was so good. Yes, no matter really how good or bad it is. Exactly. Right. <laughs> you know, so at least it opens up their palate and gives them an idea of, you know, the initiative to want to try something new. I think it's you fantastic, know? yes. My mother always did that to us. You know, she always used to say, well, you know, I'm not going to force you to eat, but this is what we're eating. If you're hungry, you'll eat it. That is so funny. Well, I'm glad I'm sitting here with you yeah. because you're, you have a great personality and well, I love you. to cook. So I'm learning, I'm, I love to learn and not everybody's always willing to take the time. But do you find yourself always cooking for the season even at home with yeah. your family? Yeah, okay. like I just w had planned to make something different today but when I went to the market, the mushrooms didn't look good and the asparagus didn't look good. So I said, made an alternative plan and tried to do something different. That so, works. Yeah, you have to take advantage of what you have and if you eat something at the peak of freshness, you're going to get the best vitamins, the best nutrition out of it, and it's going to be the freshest and taste the best. You know, my mother never cooked with a lot of oil or fatty things, everything. but everything was so flavorful and tasty. Now, if my son was home, he'd be waiting for these to be t done toasting and just eating them right off the grill. That's a normal thing to yes. do, though. You can't help oh, but do absolutely. that. It's a very natural reaction. Oh, yeah. My mother used to stand guard at the kitchen, uh, at the stove, on um, Sunday mornings when she would get the traditional Sunday sauce ready because we'd be waiting as soon as she turned her back to dip. Oh, yeah. I'm a big yeah. dipper. When it's in the pan and yeah. you have the bread, yeah, yeah I could go through a half a loaf. come over and she'd always know that we were dipping. Yeah, like a chunk of bread in there or something. Somehow, like that, you know? right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You could. Yeah. The the Italian mother always knows when you're trying Everything. to be sneaky. So one sliced pear, yeah, one slice, one slice pear. cheese. You do, you'll do like a little assembly. Right? Okay, great. So okay, so you're taking this off I'm now. Once that now, is I this going to melt? Make it bitter. No, well, you know what? Since it's soft, the heat of the um, like right, it might just. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I'm burning. Probably am. And this doesn't bother. I don't know. So no, I like that. Yeah. I like that char. To me, it just adds, like I said, another dimension of flavor. Yes. Ooh, that's a little too toasty. Yes. If we had some tomato sauce, I'd be dipping. Oh, yeah, that's, that's for sure. That's, that's a good one. So, I mean, you have to, that's what the, the beauty about cooking. You could omit or add whatever you like to it for your own, like, you know, your own your taste. Own, like, yeah. And your own family's taste. If someone's allergic to a certain ingredient, don't put it in. Just try to substitute it with something else and be creative. So I'm going to let you assemble this stuff so you can be my, my helper. All right. Okay. What you're going to do first is you're going to put a little layer of this. Okay. Very light, not too heavy because I don't know how sweet this one is. Yeah, so you're going to try to spread it over each one. Then you're going to put a little telegio. Like would you, how much would you say? Yeah, you could put a little more than that. Okay. Yeah. Get you some of this. Prosciutto. Then you'll put a piece of the telegio. And it might be a little bit uh, difficult to... Um, Pull you off. don't spread because of the jam on the bottom, but you do, you're do. you doing a good job. That's All right. good. Let's put, um, yeah, let's put a piece of prosciutto, a little bit of... Just little one little. full piece? Yeah, or depending on the piece. If it's Here, you do one and then, I'll, and then I'll copy you. You know what I'll do, actually? I'm going to tell you to put the 
the arugula first because then it'll keep it in place. Okay. So we'll do this, a little this, and then one more. Or two more. There you go. Very there pretty. Go. And then there you go. Okay, cool. You can do something like that. Alright, I'll do okay. something like that. Sounds good to me. Mmm. <laughs> All comes together. Sweet, meat, yum. Savory, salty. Mm.